Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series of hyperbolic function. Before starting any discussion on hyperbolic function, it might be very useful to first understand relationship between circular functions and exponential complex numbers because we will use these concepts in order to establish relationship between circular functions and hyperbolic functions. So, I will start with this. So, as we have seen that according to Euler's equation of complex number e raised to i theta is equals to cos theta plus i sin theta. Okay. So, if I replace theta with minus theta, then I will get e raised to minus i theta equals to cos of minus theta plus i into sin of minus theta. Now, cos of minus theta is cos theta. So, I will get cos theta here and sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, I will get minus i sin theta here. Okay. So, let this is equation number 2 and this is equation number 1. So, by adding 1 and 2, I will get e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta equals to twice of cos theta. So, this implies that cos theta equals to e raised to i theta plus e raised to minus i theta divided by 2. So, this formula is known as exponential complex number formula for cos theta. Okay. And similarly, if we subtract 2 from 1, then I will get e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta equals to twice of i times uh, sin theta. Okay. So, this implies that sin theta equals to e raised to i theta minus e raised to minus i theta divided by 2i and this is known as exponential complex number formula for sin theta. So, ye do ne formula important hai because ye do formula use karke aap uh, circular functions and hyperbolic functions ke beech mein relationship nikalenge. Aur aaiye ab dekhte hain kaise kuch problems hum ye in do formula ka use karke aasani se prove kar sakte hain. 